part is probably better than the definitely last one. But okay, yeah. That's good. Feels like the seat heating is on. Can it be? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was a cold morning, man. <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring after having lapped yesterday the Cayman of Christian in um, um, of the Nürburgring Reddit group on WhatsApp today we're going with another member, Nick, in his Swift so tell us a bit about the car uh, so I bought something kind of cheap just to run at the ring as much as possible um, you know, keep the overall price down, keep reliability high, uh -huh. uh, and just something that was fun. Uh, I saw quite a few of the Swifts out there on the track and spoke to a few owners, and yeah, it's it's been fantastic. Not much done to it, ST suspension and EBC yellows, that's yeah. pretty much it. But also different tires, that's very important. Oh no, those come stock. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's early in the morning, so you got me there. I'll give you that. I set the bar pretty low for that yeah. joke. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so that's two our tires. Good for in the dry for the spa, for the spa and also definitely good for in the wet. Um, the, 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 the engine stock, it's like, what is it, like 140? 140, yeah. 140. Turbocharged. Yep. Uh, manual. Should be lots of fun. So, uh, unlike yesterday's car with full leather interior, we have very suitable plastic interior where we can stick the GoPro on so let's hope that we not jinx ourselves so we can have the speedometer and the feed cam oh uh, no it's already dropped so maybe it's not gonna work but we can try stick it on a bit harder one more time and otherwise okay so the feed cam is on put it a bit lower so it will have a bit of better center point of gravity and not pulling it down and all the race car excuses Okay, red line, 6? 6.2 uh, I think, give or take. Uh, well, yeah, you can lose power after about 5.5. Okay, then we'll keep it at around 5. Camera. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, as long as it's not gonna get in the footwell. Yeah, well, it did, so we'll, we'll see in a bit. Uh, where is it? Where is it? You want to grab it? Yeah, that's where you're done. Yeah, GoPro. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I switched to uh, yellow stuff. They're good. Not as good as the uh, Ferrotos I had on before. Yeah.
there's that forward seat one too. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, thing to uh, 
know what's happening with the car, so... That's exactly right. <laughs> so you wouldn't have felt it through Flat Scott 2 if you didn't, uh, didn't have that CD. <laughs> The, like brake pads and stuff right brake pads the Frodo's I had Frodo DS 2500s those mm -hmm. lasted I want to say about 60 70 laps okay which is pretty good but they're quite soft the yeah Frodo's, you know so yeah, it's, exactly. uh, they're almost close to the street pad they yeah. have off a bit better performance a better heat but it's overall mm, it's more brakes let's hope it's not us <laughs> could be <laughs> it's probably us yeah, yeah. The, the yellow stuff I, I wasn't really impressed by they're significantly better on the street as they hit it, heat up quicker they're a little bit quieter mm -hmm. um, but on track after running two to three laps consecutively you, you start feeling them yeah so for a track day pad I'd probably go back to the 2500s just just mm. to, to you know have the consistency there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. nice well, that, that is that is a strong smell of race yeah <laughs> that, that definitely that makes it wakes you up better than coffee smell in the morning god it's wonderful it's wonderful <laughs> Smells like victory. Yeah, Nick, thanks again for this experience. Man, not a problem at all. My Thank first you. time ever in the Swift. Yeah. Really? I was always like thinking, like, ah, I should go across the road to rent for ring. Like, hey, can I borrow one of cars? If yeah. you're watching this, you can reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you heard it here first, Dale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I've, I've rented one from them. Uh, it, it's a fantastic car. They're really, really well set up. They're a lot of fun. There's one right now. Yeah. Uh, really well set up, good cars. Yeah, and, and a lot of people uh, end up buying the old ones from there. I came very close to uh, to doing that as well. Came yeah. very, very close to it. Yeah, speaking of which, I need to have a lap with David Mayen. I know that he's watching, and we tried to do a lap beginning of the year, but he uh, had some driver excuses. So uh, hopefully you, these ones won't fly anymore, and we can go for a lap in his green Swift, the previous gen. So it will be interesting to compare things. Uh, I, the, you're, you're really gonna like the last generation. I, yeah. the, this is a better street car, mm -hmm. um, but I, I really like that the last one made you work a lot more. What's the like the the power output of the previous one? One thirty six. So it's the same, pretty much. Give or take. Yeah. And you only have probably a bit more torque with this. Yes, but the the power band itself is very very narrow and it's very high, so you really feel like you have to work it a little bit more. Uh huh. Uh, feels more race car because you're really right mm. before red line. Whereas with this one, you can you can get a little bit lazy with it, yeah. Uh, which is you know, it's not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. We're good for a beginner though. Yeah, that's, definitely. That's kind of the trade-off. 